I'm sure that most of you don't know that I worked for a phone company for 15 years, and then I worked for a very large phone manufacturer for 15 years, and they both went out of business. Has to be a coincidence. Well, today I want to talk about a T carrier, 24 channels. This is digital communications between two central offices. The T carrier has a transmit and receive, and internally the pulses look like what we would expect, something like this, but when they're being transmitted out of the T carrier, they turn every other pulse upside down. Now the reason for this is when it goes out over the wire, which is two wires for transmit and two wires for receive, to the wire this looks like half the frequency so the pulses travel farther. Now it ends up at a repeater and this repeater will take those incoming pulses which now look very much like a sine wave and make a brand new pulse if they reach a threshold and there's not too much noise. Each of these repeaters are about a mile apart and I'm only showing two here. The office that I worked in, I think the next central office was something like oh, 27 miles away. So there were 27 repeaters at least. I have made a Schmidt trigger using a 741 op amp. Here's a little closer look at that circuit. And here's the wiring diagram. And this is what the output looks like. The top trace is our incoming sine wave and the green below is our output. Brand new pulses. Now here's a closer look at this and if we draw a couple of lines up from the bottom from our output pulses we can find the upper and lower limits of that 741 Schmidt trigger circuit. T carrier is still widely used today if there's a huge amount of communications between offices, then of course you would use fiber, but 24 or 48 or even into the hundreds, T carrier is a good choice. Thanks for watching.